Yo, what's up, man? It's the pilot, and I'm back. Hey. Real quick, I want to do a quick video before we get started, man. Like, comment, subscribe. It takes nothing for you to scroll down real quick and bloop. Hit the subscribe button or the like button, okay, if you're getting something from this video. Also, if you want to subscribe, if you want to see my beautiful face, you know, all the time, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I have a lot of videos talking about designer items, how to get them for cheap, how to step your style game up just a little bit if you want to. But hey man, today uh, I got a really good question. I don't get a lot of really good questions from my subscribers a lot, but I got a really, really good one. Um, I think his name is Gregory, I'm not really sure, but you know who you are. He was like, hey man, what is your process for cleaning the soles of your red bottoms? particularly the bottom of them, which it kind of makes sense to me because the most important part of a Christian Louboutin sneaker is the bottom, right? Like, if you let your bottoms get all dirty, which that is the dirtiest part of every single shoe you're going to wear, if you let your bottoms get all dirty and gringy, what is the point? Which is a great question. And I have two different ways um, that I go about. I'm also going to tell you guys how I actually clean the shoe if I'm going to clean it. But the number one and quick way, the quick, safe, and easy way, if your sole, if the sole of your shoe is not that bad, if it's not that dirty, you want to use a baby wipe. I like to use baby wipes. It doesn't really matter which ones, but right now I'm using these. I'll show you how dirty the bottom of this shoe is. Okay. Now, one thing that's really sucks about Christian Louboutin sneakers with a white sole. They are scuff magnets. I don't know if you guys can see how many scuffs are on the sole of this sneaker right here. But there are a lot. And I'll tell you in a second how to get that off. Um, it's really, really hard um, if you're not an expert at cleaning them. But there are a couple of things you can do, but you gotta be really careful. The, the um, cleaner that I use is really, really strong. So you got to be careful with the material, but yeah. Um, but we're going to talk about the bottom. So real quick, it's not going to get every single, every single piece. It's like, like this white part is not going to be completely white, but that's not what you want. What you don't want is the red bottom being brown. And it will happen. I don't let my shoes get that bad. So you, I, I tried to look for a pair of red bottoms that I had that had a really dirty sole, but I don't let them get to that point. Every time I wear them, after one or two wears, I always wipe them down with a baby wipe. If it gets really bad, if I was out in the area where it was a lot of dirt and stuff, I'd do the second technique, but this is the first one, the baby wipe. It's really easy. Okay, get you a couple baby wipes, you know, up out of there, you know, and just hit it. Nothing, nothing spectacular, nothing special. Okay, you're gonna probably use about two to three and you, as you can already see, it's getting a whole lot better real quick as far as the redness. Now, this, this part on the outside, that's going to be dirty. Okay, there's not, not too much you can do about that. There's no use of even cleaning that part too hard because that's going to get, that, that white part, or if it's like if you have a sole that's black, I mean, it's going to get back dirty real, and it's no use of you uh, wearing yourself out cleaning that. But what you want to do is get as much dirt as possible off of the red part. All right? Let's hit it. You want to try to get up in here, too, because this little crevice right here, okay, you want to get up in there so people can see that, see that writing up in there. It's one wipe. Come through that joint again, clean it again right there. Okay. Now you're saying, why would you clean the bottom? They're gonna get dirty again. I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. And you don't want to let it get too dirty to where you it's gonna be hard for you to get this vibrant red back color back into it. Because I have some pairs of my sneakers that um the bottom is just like tainted with dirt. And it will never get as red as this again. 
You'll never get this red again. Let me show you the difference. Dry it off on my head. Check it out. Yeah, you guys can kind of see. You can see right here. Alright. You see a little bit of a difference, right? This one a little bit more brighter. Now it's gonna get back to this point, but what you don't, the main thing is just the upkeep of the bottom of it, right? Okay, the upkeep of the bottom. Alright, now that like I said, this may sound dumb as hell, like why would I clean the bottom? But if you if you have these sneakers, you know exactly why you will want to clean the bottoms of these. Okay, I'm gonna repeat it on this side. Okay. Okay. So, and then you can take a damp towel, okay, and clean the rest off. Clean all that 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 uh baby white residue off, which it'll come off anyway, but. And that's how I clean the bottoms of them, like that. Just that simple, that easy. Another way you can go about doing it, you can use the same wet towel, right? I'm going to use these right here. Okay. Now, this is a very... <laughs> you don't have baby wipes. I use this, scrubbing bubbles. Right here. I use that, a couple of squirts of that. Not too much. And that really gets in there. Like, this is when it gets bad on the bottom. Like, when it gets really, really bad and really, really dirty. And you guys see how it is right now. Right? But this is what I use for it. So. And I just hit it right here. Like that. I grab this sole right up in there. Clean this sole as much as I can. And you guys can possibly, you can see the difference on it right there already. Okay? Now, like I said, of course they're gonna get dirty again, right? But what you don't want is your shoe to turn brown at the bottom and get too dirty. You wanna keep that upkeep on it because that is the whole point of the shoe, right? You want that red bottom to shine through there. And you can also hit that sole with the same towel, okay? Hit it with some scrubbing bubbles. It gets, I mean, the whole point, it says, it gets rid of that dirt and grime. And under that shoe is some dirt and some grime. All right? And you just hit it one more time. Keep hitting it till you feel comfortable with it. Till it's to your liking. You can hit the sole a little bit. Totally different, right? Now, for the uppers. It depends. I like to just use a wet towel with no with no chemical agent on it for the uppers on the leather shoe. These these white soles that get really dirty. Like you can see that right here. I use that same scrubbing bubbles on the sole. Now, to clean the uppers of shoes, okay, one of the main things, this right here, Crep Protect, to clean the uppers of the shoes, or just a wet towel, that works too. But it's all your preference. I like to use on my shoes, I like to use the scrubbing bubbles on parts um, of the shoe because for some reason it gets a lot of these scuff marks out um, for me. So you guys can see it's dirty right here on the side. You see the little scuff right here, right there. You can see the scuffs on this side. Spray a little scrubbing bubbles. Spray a little scrubbing bubbles on that thing. Okay, some of you guys may think I'm crazy for doing this, but you ask what I like to use, this is what I use. Alright, let's see what happens. And I just hit that thing right there, it's coming out. Well, shit, it don't look like it too much today. 
It ain't coming out too good today. You might have to do a little bit more work than what I'm doing. A little bit more, put a little bit more elbow grease into it. But this white sole on these Christian Louboutin sneakers are very hard to clean. When I can't get them out, I can't get the stains out. Sometimes I take it to a cobbler. But on the white soles of Christian Louboutins, man, they're like scuff magnets. If you wear them out, I mean, I get scuffs from from just driving my car, like from the pedal sometimes, me moving my feet the incorrect way. You see some of that scrubbing bubbles is gonna get right there on that suede, but it comes right out. It doesn't mess the shoe up from what I know. Um, you use it at your own risk, okay? But as far as the bottom, you can use that scrubbing bubbles on there. And like I said, the main thing you wanna do is worry about that upkeep of the bottom. You wanna keep that bottom as bright red as possible. Every every other use, every other, every two wears that you have of this shoe, clean that bottom of them and keep them going. Alright? Guys, that is pretty much it, man. Let me know what you think. What do you use to clean your shoes? Did this help? This also can help. Honestly, it's scrubbing bubbles on regular leather sneakers. It helps on the sole, the outsole right here. On regular sneakers, you just kind of kind of wash the upper if you have a special material. But guys. That's pretty much it, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and remember, you are the flyest motherfucker on earth. I'll see y'all later.